Hello and good evening, everyone. My name is Scott Shores. I'm the senior in high school. Um, I also teach general music to all schoolers and high schoolers. Um, welcome. This is uh, Exploring Music 3. So this is uh, one of the main classes that I'm teaching this year for middle school. Uh, teaching it both on uh, Duval Homeroom as well as here face to face. Um, but I'll just give you a greeting and say hello. Um, I am going to switch, share my screen with you for a quick PowerPoint presentation. Uh, my All right, once again, this is Exploring Music 3. Um, it is okay if they have not had Exploring Music 1 or 2. They, they are all separate courses uh, that stand on their own, so they are good to go. As I said, my name is Scott Shores. I'm director of this here at Baldwin Miller Senior High School. Um, my email is right here on the screen. Um, Shores S at DuvalSchools.org is also the, the end of the presentation. This is the best way to contact me uh, throughout the day. I will return emails as soon as I can. So this is Exploring Music 3. This class is an academic based class. Uh, it's not a it's not like the uh, resource classes that you might have in elementary schools. This class has a academic slant where we talk about and learn the history and theory behind music of different cultures. These cultures include, of course, European, American, African, and Asian, as well as uh, others, um, as well as an introduction to music technology, as well as uh, music, the basics of music theory. Uh, music theory is the nuts and bolts behind Music and how uh, it's created and how we interpret it as musicians. Um, so they will be learning some music uh, technical jargon, um, different things about how to talk in, uh, intelligently about music in our discussions. Um, although we might do it later to uh, prove a point on uh, a cultural aspect or to create some music using uh, techniques and uh, items that we've learned in class. This is not an instrument playing class. This class is, um, we take notes, we do tests, um, those type of things. Um, but we do try to have some fun. And yes, there will be some, very little, but some instrument playing class. No, they don't have to have known how to do instruments before. Uh, turning in work and makeup policy. Um, for most of us now, we are back full time face to face. Most of the work for this class is done in class. Um, I try to give as little home learning as possible. Sometimes uh, they might need to finish up a project or finish up some work at home. Uh, but most of it is done in class and will be able to be turned directly into me. For my Duval homeroom students, all work. On du for Duval Homeroom will be done via Teams. I also use Focus as a backup, just in case um, we have problems with Teams. Um, students only have to turn in things once. If they turn it in Focus, they're good to go. Um, if they turn it in Teams, they're good to go. Uh, but I have them both there for backup, just in case we have technology problems. Speaking of which, if there are any technology problems uh, to my Duval Homeroom parents, Please let me know immediately so um, I can try and see if there's a workaround or something we can do for class. All of my assignments are due within 48 hours of assigning them. Um, that gives students uh, time to uh, get them done uh, and get things set up. Late work, uh, yes, I will accept late work. However, every 48 hours after that first 48, uh, I will be, I will uh, take 10% off the grade for everything that's turned in late after the due date. Um, for students who do need accommodations for extra time, those will be worked with on an individual basis to make sure that those accommodations are met. If you are absent, 
um, you'll be given one day for every day absent to make up every, any missed work. So um, just because you missed a day does not mean that uh, everything is, is hopeless. You, you will have time to make up work. Um, if you need extra help, if you need extra help in, in tutoring uh, or understanding or completing work, um, I will be available Mondays from 2.30 to 5 by appointment. Um, this is a change from the original syllabus because of us changing schedules going back to full time. Um, and I will make that change in the syllabus for you. Um, but I will be available for extra help on Mondays from 2.30 to 5 by appointment. Um, and that is both face to face and online. So if you are a, a DHR student, and you need some extra help, I will be available from 2.30 to 5 on Mondays online as well, um, which is the other reason for the appointment. So that way I know which where to meet people. Um, let me know if you need help. Uh, like I said, even rocket scientists don't like to take on music, music theory. Um, just like we say, hey, it's not rocket science. They also say, hey, it's not music theory. It can be confusing, even though we're doing just thumbnail scratches and and really the easy, easy parts of music theory, it can be confusing. Please do not uh, feel afraid to ask for help. I, I'm here to help. you. This is my grading policy. Um, I put the grades, the grade weights and percentages in 50% uh, of the grade is your tests and or, and or assessments. Um, these are our formal assessments. Uh, usually there is a review day beforehand. Most of the information comes from the notes we take in class. Um, so therefore, it's very important to, to take those notes. Also, I do a review the day before the test. I, I do a review. Tests are announced usually about a week before they happen so that students know to start studying. Um, and again, the, the, the day before the test is a uh, big review where we spend the whole day just reviewing for that test. 40% um, of my grades are classwork. That's classwork and assignments. Um, these are done mostly in class. Uh, sometimes they may take them home to uh, finish them, um, but we'll mo they'll mostly be done in class. Uh, and then 10% is participation and activities. Um, so when we do uh, do instruments or uh, do a group project on um, identifying uh, certain aspects of music or doing philo philosophical chairs where we're discussing and debating uh, certain points of, of music and music history that, that might be controversial, um, on a, on a small scale. Um, those type participation, those type activities uh, will go into that part of the grade. Um, these are easy things to help, help boost your grade and help boost grades. All right, absences. All students who are, absences, who are absent need to make up missed work, tests, notes upon return. Again, you will be given one day for every day you are absent to make those up. Um, if you were absent because of a uh, doctor's visit, uh, sickness, those type things, um, doctor's notes or a parent, written, a parent handwritten letter must be sent to the office for those absences to be changed to excused absences. And those will, whoops, and those will also be changed by the attendance clerk. My Duval Homeroom students, if you're having trouble with your computer or Teams, please get a message to me as soon as possible. Uh, again, that way, if there's a workaround or if there's some way I can get information to you as soon as possible, please let me know. Uh, once again, I would like to thank you for coming and for uh, seeing my presentation. Uh, once again, my email is right here. It's uh, shoress at duvalschools.org. Uh, that is, the, again, the best way to get in touch with me, and I will return any emails that I get as soon as I possibly can. Thank you very much. I look forward to the rest of the year and uh, we will see you around. Thank you.